skill law distinguish delegates and observers of MOCOP26. We speak to you representing the youth of Bulgaria, a nation in southeastern Europe with population of 7 million people, member state of the European Union. In a few days, in an action with climate banners, we'll call our Prime Minister to support a target of at least 65% reductions of the greenhouse gas emissions during the European Council in December as the new EU NDC. Bulgaria has not yet suffered much due to climate change, but it's the young people who will face the negative impacts strongly. The vulnerabilities coming from the already rising temperatures consist of increased risks of drought, fires, floods, frequent and longer heat waves and cold waves. The young people of Bulgaria are becoming more and more aware of the need to act on climate. The local branches of Fridays for Future have contributed to the largest climate protest in Sofia in September 2019, with climate actions happening in several cities. As a means to combat the climate crisis, Bulgaria should implement sooner the European Green Deal. The money for recovery from the coronavirus pandemic must be used so that we build our economies in a just and green way. Carbon neutrality could be achieved through government-implemented policies, such as stopping support for fossil fuels, a swift transition to renewable energy and circular economy, while putting an end to the destruction of Bulgaria's rich biodiversity. Neither are also local-level decisions encouraging agroecology and local eco-friendly production, clean public transport, renovation of the railways, and more pedestrian green zones. Furthermore, we ask our government to implement climate education into the curriculum for all level education institutions. The power of education is vital in creating a more just, democratic society and a sustainable future where all of us and our country's future generations could thrive. As youth from Bulgaria, we see and care about the consequences of climate change that are already taking many lives and homes around the world. As a developed country, it is our responsibility to help those affected most and to take more action than those with less resources. Realistic and science-based measures have been proposed and we demand that the government takes immediate action for the better of the people in our country and in all other countries who are suffering and will continue to suffer because of climate inaction. We believe our government will finally begin accepting this responsibility and doing its fair share to deal with the climate crisis.